When we think about dieting, we always think about food, but we rarely think about something else that could use a break. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Zeb, your everyday life coach, and I provide you with practical tools for daily living so you can transform tomorrow today. I'm excited to be back with another very powerful um, thing that I want to discuss with you briefly um, called um, the power of the mental diet. And it's really based on a concept uh, that was created by Emmett Fox called the seven day mental diet. And I want to talk a little bit about that and uh, give you some things that I think will help you. Uh, especially if you're interested in transforming your thoughts and your way of thinking, uh, and especially shifting out of negative thinking into thinking more positive and being more grounded uh, in your thinking. Uh, but before we get into that, do me a favor. I want you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Uh, as you can see, I'm sticking to my word. I'm trying to make a conscious effort uh, to, to stay on course this time and stay on track and really provide you with content uh, that's not only useful for you, but frankly, it's transparent and has been useful for me. Uh, I am a teacher uh, by heart and also a coach by trade and uh, just excited to be with you um, today and to be sharing this content. So uh, I call the video Change Your Mind, uh, Change Your Life. Why that? Well, it's simple. I do believe that if you change your mind, you do change your life. And part of changing your mind is changing how you think and what you think. Um, there is a book that was written in 2013 uh, by a gentleman by the name of Emmett Fox. It's called The Seven Day Mental Diet. I will post the link uh, in the description. Um, there is an audio version that's on YouTube that I've listened to, uh, I don't know, at least 30 or 40 times. It's only about 20 minutes long. Um, and uh, you can also get the book on Amazon. Uh, and you can literally read the book in 10 minutes. It's a quick and easy read. It's a very short book, but it's a powerful book. And um, what uh, Emmett Fox uh, attempts to argue uh, is that um, we should treat our thinking and way of thinking um, like the mental diet. Uh, and in doing so, the same way we diet and abstain from foods, uh, and it helps our physical well-being, uh, it helps the way we are able to metabolize food. Um, the same way we do that um, physically, if we do that with our thoughts, it will certainly change our lives, our way of thinking, and our overall well-being. And uh, I thought it was a very interesting concept that I happened to stumble on where I was doing some research, working on some other things for myself, actually, personally, and ran across this in a book that I was reading and uh, pulled it up and looked and said, wow, this is interesting. So I listened to the audio uh, version of it, and uh, it was powerful. Listen, what happens when we die? Right when you when you ever go on a diet, and I've been Lord knows <laughs> on a lot of different diets. Uh, I've tried almost just about any diet that you can think of. When I first really started getting into fitness, uh, serious about my fitness journey, you know, some you know, 15, 12, 15 years ago, literally, um, and tr I tried all kinds of diets, workout programs, and now I you know I figured it out. I'm, I'm on this thing where I don't do a lot of carbs uh, during the week, uh, sweets, things like that. Um, I'm pretty strict to protein diets, uh, proteins rather, uh, fruits, veggies, things like that. And I cheat a half day Saturday and all day Sunday, I eat what I want. And, um, you know, weight has fallen off of me. I wish I could show you my clothes. This was actually a, a, a custom um, blazer uh, that is now not fit, fitting even snug. It's loose. Uh, I'm just losing so much weight from working out and and really dining and staying focused on that. And it, it feel great. I absolutely feel great. But it's funny. The millions of diets that I've tried before now, I have kind of like my own customized thing that works with me. Dieting and working out put together really um, helps to uh, you know, keep us fit and in shape. Um, but it's funny. When you start a diet, what happens in the beginning? Everybody's motivated, right? I remember <laughs> uh, way back in the day, I would start diets and you know, make up my mind. I'm going to do this diet. And then I would make my list of foods and I'd go to the grocery store and day one, I would eat good. And then day two, probably eat good. By day three, that food was still sitting in the refrigerator in the cabinet. And uh, I went to steak and shake, <laughs> got a burger and just called it a day. 
right? Everybody's motivated in the beginning uh, when they do a diet, right? And then we are challenged, right? We hit this space where we end up being challenged to make sure that what it is we're trying to give up uh, is really what we mean to give up, right? And then in the context of dieting and food, obviously food, but in the context of the mental diet, I'm going to talk about this in the context of your thoughts, um, because one of the things that the book emphasizes that I want to emphasize today about your mental health and your well-being and the thoughts that you think is just this very simple concept. And that is, if you persist, you will see results, right? If you persist, you will see results, which means you start off a diet. It's easy. Day one, day two, you're motivated. You hit a wall. It's easy to quit, go back on your eating habits. But that's the point where you got to really buckle down and persist because if you can get through that wall, then um, you will start to see results as a result of your giving up the foods that you shouldn't eat and, of course, dieting um, combined with exercise and all of those things. So the mental diet really works the same way. What Emmett Fox suggests is that for seven days minimum, if you read the book, he says for seven days minimum, what you should do is only think positive thoughts. That's it. That's the diet. For seven days, you think positive thoughts. You don't allow negative thoughts to come in your mind. Um, you don't entertain negative thoughts. I'm going to talk about that in a second because there's really three ways or three things you really have to watch when you're doing this. Uh, but in a nutshell, he says, listen, you don't think negative thoughts for these seven days and you intentionally make the effort to only think, speak, and believe positive things, right? So for seven days minimum, you only want to think, speak, or believe positive things. Now, the writer says, listen, you know, Emmett Fox says, you know, you should only do it seven days because, you know, it's seven days. That's about all you can take. And I'm going to get into that in a second because I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey in a second. Uh, he says that seven days, you know, you should you should stop because your mind is going to be hard for you to really monitor your thoughts the way you should monitor them. And it's really exhausting. And I know exactly what he's talking about. I'm going to explain that in a second. And, and then after the seven days, take a one or two day break and then it becomes a lifestyle. And what he suggests is that you know, if you can just monitor your thoughts you know, for seven days, then you begin to train your subconscious mind to believe and understand that there's certain things, thoughts that you just simply won't entertain. Um, so we only think, we only speak, we only believe positive things for at least those seven days. Now, um, in order to do this, you have to, you know, what he, do what he says, you know, make a conscious effort to spy on your thoughts, right? We're, we think about spying on something, what are we doing? We're watching it, right? We're watching it and we're watching it closely and intently. We're watching for the next move or moves, whatever thing is gonna make. Uh, we're really making a conscious effort to watch whatever it is that we're spying on. And so I like the word spy in the context of this exercise because if you're gonna go on a mental diet, you literally have to kind of step out of yourself and you have to watch your thoughts. Like you have to monitor your thoughts. And um, it sounds easy, right? Oh, well, you know, Dr. Zeb, I can watch my thoughts. I, you know, I watch my thoughts every day. No, most of us don't. In fact, we think on average uh, just around 70,000 thoughts a day. Because you think on average 70,000 thoughts a day, it is impossible for you to watch all 70,000 thoughts. Now, and the reason it is impossible is because you're working, you know, you go to school, uh, maybe you got a family, you've got, you know, a husband, wife, you've got, you know, children, you've got all kinds of other responsibilities. Maybe you're running a business, you've got all these things going on, and it's impossible to dedicate your, yourself to your work and do those things and monitor 70,000 thoughts at the same time. So it is very difficult. It's harder than what you think, and especially if you have a lot of responsibilities and obligations like most of us do. So in between your work, right, in between your responsibilities, he says, try to only think positive things when you catch yourself thinking. And if you catch negative thoughts come your way, you haven't broken the diet, but you have to stop the negative thought so that the negative thought doesn't continue and continue and rampage on to become something bigger than what it is. Because at that point, he suggests that if your thoughts, if you, if you just think a negative thought, because again, you can't always control your thoughts, Lord knows. <laughs> 
sometimes I'm sitting at the desk doing work and just some of the craziest stuff comes across my mind. I'm like, what in the world? How in the world did I think? Have you ever just been <laughs> sitting around and the craziest thought came? You was like, where in the world did I get that thought from? And it's just the weirdest thing. So we can't control, <laughs> can't control all of our thoughts and, and what those thoughts are and where they come from. But he says, if when you think the thought, the negative thought, and you catch that you've thought a negative thought, then your job is to tell yourself, nope, I'm on a diet. Just like you would, you know, a regular diet. I've, I've gone on diets before. I know what this is like. You start the diet on Monday, you do good. On Tuesday, somebody, a coworker walks in with two boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> and you're like, are you serious? Like, this is day two of the diet. Are you really gonna walk in here with some hot donuts? You, you got them with the hot and now sign. And you're gonna walk in here with some hot donuts. And I'm supposed to tell those donuts, no. That's how your negative thoughts creep up, right? Because if you, at that point, continue to entertain those donuts and look at those donuts and focus on those donuts, what's going to happen? You're going to eat those donuts. You're going to eat a donut. But if you see the donuts coming, you can't control that, right? A lot of your negative thoughts, you can't control. They come. But if you see the donuts come, you say, oh, yeah, I see it, but I, I'm, I want them to die. I can't, I can't have it. And you just turn your attention and move on elsewhere. Then the donuts have no effect. And that's how... He suggests we entertain our negative thoughts. We can't always stop the thoughts that come our way, but we can manage how we entertain them and how long we entertain them, right? If you haven't seen my video, I'll link that in the bio as well. Uh, stop the car. If you haven't seen the video, the last video that I did, I want you to watch. It's about a 30 minute video, but it's a powerful video because it in essence teaches that concept. Yes, negative thoughts come, but when momentum hits your negative thoughts, they're nearly impossible to stop. Uh, and so you've got to nip negative thoughts in the bud. And Emmett Fox talks about that, right? If you get a negative thought, monitor that thought. Catch it and then tell yourself, nope, I'm on a diet. Just like you can't have Krispy Kreme donuts, can't have that negative thought. Nope, we're going to think something else. And you automatically switch your mind to a better or more positive thought. And you have to persist to do this for seven days. Now, it sounds easy. I know some of you are saying, oh, doc, that's easy. That ain't nothing. Well, let me tell you a little bit about my journey. This is the truth. I'm on day, ooh, I think I'm on day, I'm looking through my notes to see this journal. I don't think I have it in this journal. I think I'm on day 24 of my mental diet, right? And uh, Emmett, uh, Emmett Fox talks about doing it for seven days. And uh, I'm a firm believer that most habits are built at least 30 to 40 days in duration. You have to do it that long in order for a habit to really be formed and, and to turn into a lifestyle. So on day like, as of this video, I'm on day 24 of my mental diet. This is the God's honest truth. <laughs> so I started my diet 24 days ago, and I'll never forget. Day one, oh man, it was just, I learned about this. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a mental diet. And I've really been working on my emotions and managing those things and managing negative thoughts. And sometimes life literally hits you in the stomach in unexpected ways. And, and I've never professed to be anything other than human. I don't know about anybody else. And I embrace that because it makes me authentic and genuine and really makes me a magnet to great experiences and people. And I wouldn't change that for anything. Um, but, I, you know, I've really been trying to manage, you know, negative thoughts and, and really have made so much progress. I feel like it's just in a totally different but better version of myself, you know, giving so many things that I've experienced over the last couple of years. And... Um, so I started this diet because I found out about it. I was like, this is perfect. It lines up with the work that I've been doing. Um, you know, I've done some therapy work, but a lot of the inner work I've been doing on myself lines up perfectly. So day one, great success. I'm writing in my journal. Oh, this is going to be a breeze. I didn't think anything but positive stuff today. I didn't let nobody get on my nerves. None of that. Well, day two hit and literally it was like the windows of hell <laughs> opened up and every bad thing you could think of happened that day at work with friends with all kinds of things and I was like how how can I be making a conscious effort to do right and all of this crazy stuff attacks me and then it hit me like wait a minute Emmett Fox was right the mental diet is just like a physical diet or, or a food diet in that when your body starts to abstain from certain foods that it's used to. What does your body do? It begins to send signals to your brain that it doesn't want the new thing you're feeding it. It wants what it's used to. And that's how purging out negative thoughts and negative emotions work. 
you're gonna go through a period if you try this diet where you're gonna hit that about, about day three, day four mark and literally it's gonna feel like the windows are gonna open up. And all that is, is your old way of thinking trying to say to you, what are you doing to me? What do you mean I can't think negative anymore? What do you mean I can't overtake your mind with negative thoughts about your family? And overtake your mind about negative thoughts about your career and overtake your mind with negative thoughts about your finances or your relationships, your marriage, your friendships. What do you mean I can't just think what I want to think? And so don't think for one second your old way of thinking is not going to fight your new way of thinking because it's going to fight it, especially when you're attempting to think positive things. And that's exactly what happened to me. Like day two was just crazy. It was so many things. But I knew this was going to, the journey was going to be different. And it didn't hurt, by the way, that I'd already been working on managing my emotions. And so we're in, with one particular situation, one way I would have normally reacted, it was no big deal. I, I saw it, situation happen. I just clicked off and moved on and just kept going. You know, I didn't even think about it anymore. It still happened uh, because when you really dedicate to thinking positive things, you literally zero out any appearance of anything negative. By about day five, I found myself literally in conversations at work. Uh, I, I talked about this on one of, uh, I think another video that I did, where I literally religiously would talk about my job being ghetto. And I would say it and say it on calls and people would laugh. And what happened? The more I spoke it being ghetto, the more ghetto it became, right? The more crazy people started acting. <laughs> and but about day five, though, I'm at work and all of these crazy things were happening and my coworkers were rocking up, Dr. Dr. Zed, Dr. Taylor, what are we going to do about this? They, they acting crazy, acting like this. And here I was, normally the guy that was like, yeah, I know these people so ghetto, it's crazy. I just responded, said, no big deal. Everything's good. Let's give them the grace to figure it out. And, um, and uh, we're going to work as best as with them as we can and, and come to a solution that works. And my coworker looked at me like, you all right? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm good. I said, wow, that was a very positive message response, Dr. Taylor. I mean, you're always positive, but that was really positive. I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think more positive things and not delve into the negative. And let me tell you, that's what this mental diet does. This mental diet literally impacts um, three things and it causes you to really focus on how you deal in three different spaces and this is what I want to give you to help you as I hope you will jump on this mental day uh, mental diet journey and try this out my goal is to go at least 60 days I think I can go longer because really I don't see this as a diet if you know anything about diets and you really um, are serious about what you eat dieting then becomes a lifestyle and uh, I see this as a lifestyle. I just, I have no desire, interest, or intention to think negative about anything or anybody or any situation anymore, even if it's just blatantly ne negative in my face. The reality is we all have the ability to make situations and paint situations to what we want them to be. Um, reality first starts upstairs in our minds and it starts with our thoughts and then our thoughts become things in our actual reality. We have to be very careful that's why the things that we speak and the things that we think. Um, and so this is certainly a lifestyle for me. Again, I'm on day 24 and I just noticed it's just been hard to rattle. I was walking out of the restroom uh, two days ago and uh, at work and, you know, you don't touch the, the, the knobs. And so I grabbed two paper towels and I got another one out just to get the knob and I pulled it. And I came out and when you come out of the restroom where I work, our lobby is right there. And I'm just washing, uh, drying my hands and a few of my coworkers and students were there talking and laughing. And um, I said, um, um, one of my coworkers said, Doc, why are you smiling so much? I said, man, look at my eyes. And they were like, what's wrong with your eyes? I'm not really. I said, no, look at them. I said, you see anything under them? No. I said, yeah. I remember how I used to always complain about eye bags and my eyes being so puffy, not getting enough rest, being stressed out. Like, my eyes are clear. And um, they were like, how did you do it? I said, man, just thinking positive stuff. Just to be honest with you, just thinking positive stuff, not letting my emotions get the best of me like they used to, not being in a space where 
I would literally be overwhelmed with negative thoughts and negative what ifs and uh uh controlling what I can control and being positive with the rest. And um, I'm telling you, this thing come, becomes a lifestyle when you're serious about it. So listen, I need you to pay attention to three things. If you want to do this mental diet, I need you to pay attention to three things because these three things help me and I believe it will help you. Number one, pay attention to your conversations, right? People are going to walk up to you. They're going to talk to you. They're going to try to bait you and they may not even know they're doing this. They, you don't walk around and tell people, hey, I'm on a mental diet. Don't say anything negative, right? It's, it's much like fasting or anything else. You need to keep it to yourself. Work on it yourself and only you know that you're doing it, right? Because you don't want people to tip you off or to, to really throw you off. But watch your conversations. People, um, especially if you've engaged in negative conversations and negative talk with people before, they're going to come to you like they normally do. And you've got to work to temper that down, right? And not feed into it. See the positive in any situations that are going on or try to review those conversations and find the positive in those conversations as best as you can. Um, and you're going to see that that's going to be really helpful. Okay. So watch your conversations Two, watch what you entertain, all right. Or watch what you watch or watch uh, what you consume, right? So I say, just watch your entertainment, right? Watch what you watch, what you watch, what you consume. Um, because what we entertain sometimes can feed negative thoughts into us, feed negative emotions into us, right? So this, this goes from TV to social media, uh, to tech who you text, right? Be careful to watch what you entertain because oftentimes what we entertain can plant seeds of negativity in our spirit, in our energy. You've got to be very careful with that. All right. So watch your conversations, watch your entertainment, and then watch your reactions or responses. Right. Literally watch how you react to things. Be slow to respond, slow to react and quicker to think things through. Right. Quicker to take a step back. Evaluate what's just happened, what's just occurred, so that your response is also positive, even if it's positive to a negative situation. All right. If you do those things and literally every single day by the second, right? Again, you don't you don't take an hour off in your day. You don't get of the 24 hours, well, this one hour I get to be as negative as I want. Doesn't work like that. 24 hours a day, seven days a week for seven days minimum, you gotta only think positive things and watch your and guard your thoughts, right? And catch yourself. Again, if you think something negative and you dwell on it for hours, then you've ruined the diet. You probably need to start over. But you got to monitor your thoughts 24 hours a day for at least seven days. And I promise you, if you do this, I'm a living witness. This is day 24 for me. And uh, it might be my goal. I might make this a series where I might actually just make this a playlist and just talk about my progress on this. Maybe my progress journey might help. Don't have a lot of followers right now. Not yet. But maybe my journey might help someone else. But I know what it's like for negative thoughts and emotions to just spiral out of control. And um, I've always been a person who's taken his own personal development serious. But I've also been a person who enjoys teaching and empowering people with what I've learned. And so uh, we may turn this into a journey. But I want you to try this. Watch your conversations. Watch what you entertain. Watch what you react to or respond to. Right. And say for seven days, I'm only going to think positive things. 24 hours each day. And I promise you at the end of that journey, you're going to feel a whole lot better. Do me a favor, like this video. I want you to share this video, subscribe to our channel if this information has been helpful to you. Um, and make sure you hit that like button. It does something to the algorithms to ensure we can empower as many people as possible. Listen, I'm rooting for you. Try this diet and I can't wait to hear about your responses. If you've done it, drop a comment down below. We'll make sure we respond to it as well. All right, listen, you got two jobs. One, I want you to be better today than what you were yesterday. And two, don't forget what I told you. Now go after it.